Hello everybody, hello from beautiful Bali, where there is a question that's been rising really strongly to my awareness lately and I would like to get your thoughts on. And that question is, what exactly is the empowered feminine and how specifically does it look like in business? So, you see, I feel in the Western world over the last century, we've been keeping ourselves very busy with the question of equality, like how do we make women equal to men in the workforce? How do we give them equal rights and opportunities? How do we make sure there is gender balance in what we're doing? And all kinds of topics like that. I feel right now, however, we are entering a new phase in which we're being invited to look at the same topic with the prism of complementarity, of recognizing the differences between the way that a man and a woman operate and using those to build richer, more wholesome, more interesting, more exciting ways to work together. And I feel that um, that has to do with our growing awareness, for example, of biology, of scientists finding more and more ways in which a man and a woman's brain are just different. You know, so for example, uh, scientists have shown that there's seven times more gray matter in the brain of a man than in the brain of a woman which means that a man is much more better able to focus on one thing and keep a tunnel vision on that whereas a woman has ten times more white matter which means that she's much better able to pick up the connections between things and to multitask another difference between our brains is that um, a man for example is much better able to process the chemical testosterone which means that he's much when 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 a man is under stress he's much more um, driven to go and get physical get active get up and start doing something whereas a woman in this situation is better able to process the chemical of oxytocin which is the bonding chemical so she will look for ways to bond and to connect and um, for example, there is also another difference which has to do with our hippocampus, which is just larger physically in women and has much more connections uh, in it. And what that means is that a woman is much better able to pick up sensory input, like feel through her body things that are going on around her. And she's also much better able to pick up the emotional component of situations that she's in. And afterwards, she's also ruminating on this more. She's spending much more time than men does to process this emotional input and understand the emotions of people and how are they influencing the situation. You know, I feel there is a huge opportunity for women to actually step into more awareness of those qualities and those differences and start asking the question of how do I bring more of this extra superpowers that I have into what I do. There is also the, the awareness that has been brought to us by the work of um, Carl Jung and his successors when it comes to psychology. An important aspect that he's also been examining and a lot of psychologists have been examining is the aspect of the feminine and the masculine not as you know me as a woman and somebody as a man but each of us will have a side of us that is more feminine that is more attuned to indulging and enjoying the present moment that is more attuned to emotionally sensing both the good and the bad and going into these darker spaces within us. It's much more concerned with our inner world. It's much more concerned with um, also the mystery, the magic, the meaning weaving of reality. Whereas the masculine component is much more around action it's much more around the external world reasoning understanding analyzing what is this world like and creating things out there and it's also much more attuned to you know the warrior like just go out and get stuff done focus on this shit like get yourself disciplined and 
And I feel like these are aspects that each of us has in different quantities in us. And the more we are attuned and balanced in those qualities, the better we are able to make the best of our experience and succeed actually in whatever it is that we're doing. So I feel that all of those things actually are converging together right now to really pose this question of, you know, okay, so we've included women into this frame that men have created. Men have created the frame of business that we are currently using. And women have sort of come in and have tried to fit into that. And it's, it's kind of whenever there is this question of dealing with emotions or like creating a space for that or like you know starting a business around that i feel like there is at least in myself i've sensed a lot of apology a lot of like oh i'm sorry to sort of slow things down and slow us down from chasing these goals that we are having in order to look at what's going on between us i'm sorry we have to really do that you know and I feel like it's not, it shouldn't be like that. It should be like, oh my God, this is so exciting. This is like, we have this space to come back and to come together and to examine this other aspect of business, you see? And, and I want to see a step into our authority there. I have three questions actually that I would like to address with you guys today and ask your opinions about. So the first one is how do we create spaces within existing business in which a woman or a bunch of women can come together and lead an initiative that has to do with stepping into our emotional awareness, exploring how is that, how our emotions are affecting business, how we can use them to motivate ourselves, to drive ourselves better in business, and how can we use our gifts for story, storytelling and meaning weaving to, to reap more benefits for business. I have a second question, which is, what areas of business would appear and grow as more and more women step into their power? So I see right now that there is more and more business starting into the field of spirituality and personal development and coaching and psychology and all of these things. And that's amazing. And I'm really curious, like what other businesses and areas of business will open up and grow as more, people, as more women step into their power? And the third question that I have I, goes like even deeper than this and it has to do with the meaning of business. So I feel like so far the meaning of business has been out, like go and accomplish this goals, go and make this money. And I feel that as women stepping into our power, we can start asking the questions of what, does, what is the inner meaning and fulfillment that doing this work brings to each of us? And that's a big question. And I would like to see this big question considered on an equal basis as the question of how do we make more money and accomplish those goals. So those are some things I would like to get your guys, um, your input on. And yeah, have an amazing day. Love you all. Take care.